Hello, hello, hello. This is getting superb, guys. I'm so impressed. I'm so excited. I'm so overwhelmed with the response. I got it on for this entire challenge, to be very honest. I'm so amazed to see the Discord server as well, the way you guys are actually completing and finishing up the challenges. That's that's really impressive. I mean, uh, that's really remarkable the way you guys are spending your time. That's that's the reason I created this. I would have created a self-paced course and uh, let you get in and, you know, but uh, I wanted to work together with the team. That's why I'm creating this video. At the same time, I want you to join the Discord server and I'm so happy to see it's working. OK, so let's start with our day five, our day five challenge, which is log analysis basics for linux auth logs before we go ahead make sure you subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you get notified for every new videos in this challenge all right and uh, if you want to join this challenge you don't worry it's not too late uh, the link is in the, is there in the description below so i'll see you in the challenge let's start with the challenge day number five which is log analysis basics which the objective of this task is of this challenge is to detect brute force attack we are going to launch a brute force brute force attack we are going to simulate a ssh brute force attack from our kali linux this is only going to be for testing purpose so remember this and then we are going to detect this ssh brute force attack on our ubuntu machine we need two machines here we need kali linux um and we need uh you know our ubuntu server our victim machine okay now we need to make sure uh hydra is installed hydra is a password testing tool uh which is used to test the password for many machine and we are going to use it for ssh brute force that has to be there on kali linux you can see i have kali linux here and this is my ubuntu machine i'll show you quickly you can see that this is my ubuntu and this is my Kali Linux. OK, and um, we are going to make it simple. If you if you can, um, I mean, the simplest way is you can go and buy a server on cloud through Linode or Volter or DigitalOcean. That's going to be quick. It might charge you probably one or two dollar maximum for the entire day. But you can, I mean, simplest way is you can have these ISO image or virtual machines on your virtual box or VMware. You can test it accordingly. Without taking much time, let's get started. Let's first understand what is SSH brute force attack. I guess most of you might be knowing about it. So SSH brute force attack is a, uh, you know, it's a brute force where you try and guess username and password. And uh, you know you com you try the combination of username password onto your uh, target server or victim server. Okay, so um, and your goal is to make it successful. You find the successful username password, and all depends on how strong the dictionary you have. If you have a better dictionary, uh, then the chances of getting chances of becoming successful is high as well. Um, attack patterns. So on the victim side, we are going. We, our goal is to find out the failed attempt onto the system. So our goal would be to find out uh, failed attempts. And usually, these authentication SSH brute force attacks are detected on the U in the slash var slash log auth dot log. So I'll show you slash var slash log. And in this, we have auth dot log file. This one which captures all the logs related to successful logged in, success, unsuccessful logged in, and all the related logs for SSH as well. All right. We are going to use Hydra tool. You can see this here. We are going to use Hydra. And Hydra is very fast open source tool, which is uh, built in, uh, pre-built. Um, I mean, it's uh, pre-installed on the Kali Linux machine, and uh, this support multiple protocol. We we are using SSH, but it can also support FTP, HTTP, or SMB as well. Okay, this is widely used for pen testing purpose or reconnaissance, or you know, not really reconnaissance, but scanning a brute force purpose. Okay, to test the weak password. Now, this is the syntax for 
uh, Hydra for password testing. So we are going to use Hydra minus L uh, username, uh, small L for if you have single user, uh, username. But we are going to use uh, only for admin users. So if you have a list of username, so you can define that text file here. Uh, make sure you also specify the specific directory. If it's in the locally stored, you don't have to do that. OK, let's do that. Um, this is my Kali Linux machine. Make sure you have a text file created. So what I can do is I can write nano and specify the file name and then hit enter. And then you can keep adding multiple you know, uh, password, password combination. In my case, I created this life, life for you, test, admin one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, seven, and everything. So this is currently stored locally in here, right? What I need to do is I'll launch the attack by Hydra minus L. And I only want to try because I know that this is the Ubuntu machine. Okay, I know the victim machine or the target machine is the Ubuntu machine. I want to get the privilege access. So I'll start with the root credential, root password. Okay, so minus L root minus P to specify the password file. In here, I just gave it for example, usually this is where people store their password list or dictionary list. I have stored locally in the same directory so I can call this directly. And then I have to specify the protocol name, then colon, and then the remote IP address. So let's get the remote IP address, the, the victim IP address. Let's specify this here. And I, I can hit enter and the brute force attack will be initialized. And in here, I'm already in the slash var slash log. So let's open our auth.log file. So tell minus F to tell command is used to see the logs in real time. OK, so I'll do auth.log, hit enter. And uh, in here, I'll initiate the attack. OK, initiate the brute force attack attempt, right? So it's been initialized and finished as well. Zero password were found. And let's let's get the IP address of our Kali Linux and let's match it here. You can see this is the Kali Linux IP address is 69628469. You see this? Same IP address, isn't it? Same IP address. You get all the information about from where the uh, attack attempt or the login attempt was initialized. This is the time and uh, failed password for root because this is what we are trying, right? For root user. We are trying to use multiple, we are trying to guess the password for root. So root from this IP address, this is the source port number because this is random, right? And then the, the destination port would be standard, which will be 22 on the victim machine. But because this is the random, this is definitely the source port. Okay. And yeah, so finally the connection has been closed. So this is the log. This is how we can detect the attempt. You can also filter by grep command as well. So I can also apply a grep at the end and specify as, you know, any keyword if it's a long password. So I can say maybe failed password in here and hit enter. Let's launch the attack one more time. Sorry. And you can see I'll all, uh, you should be able to see the locks here, right? So it makes your lock precise. In the real world, these logs are usually usually sent to the SIM solutions, Splunk, Splunk, SIM solutions like Splunk, ELK, or Microsoft Sentinel, or can also be detected through the EDR solution. And then you can you, this makes your job easier. But this is a challenge. I want you to understand the you know entire attack and detection from its native approach. Okay, so I hope this was useful for you. Take a snapshot of this attack attempt and this is a detection as well and share on the Discord server. I'll, if you need any help, I'll be there. Thank you.